Hello and welcome back. Today I want to show you how I made this pumpkin spice tres leches with pumpkin spice flavored milks. Mm, delicious, right? So let's get started and I'll show you how I made this. I will be using the cake mix of the Perfectly Pumpkin. And I will be adding and making changes on the ingredients, okay? So just bear with me. Now I'm going to dump all this into a bowl. I'm adding one cup of milk, half cup of oil. And to this, I'm going to add four eggs. I will be using store-bought pumpkin puree but you can surely use fresh. I'll be adding about, um, I think I added seven or eight tablespoons of this. And I'm also going to be adding about a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. And just going to mix this with my mixer. And all that that you see on the side, just get a spatula and just bring it down. You have to make sure that everything is incorporated. And I'm going to mix it again. Once that's done, I did add some cooking spray. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees and I baked this between 20 and 25 minutes. Oven temperatures do vary, so just keep an eye out on it. Now I'm gonna show you how I made the milks. I'm adding one can of evaporated milk, one can of sweetened condensed milk, and then using the can from the evaporated milk, I'm just filling it a little bit more than half of regular milk and I'm going to be adding some pumpkin spice and I'm going to whisk this well and that's it that's it for the milks I'm going to set this aside until the cake is done once the cake is done I did let it cool and then I'm poking holes And now goes the milk mixture. You can add as much as you want. Just don't overdo it. Um, I probably added a little bit. And then I checked and then I added a little bit more. So just to where I thought it was enough. And I did save some of that milk mixture to add on the slice of cake after it's done. I am going to cover this with a saran wrap and put it in the refrigerator overnight. The next day, I added my whipped cream. The recipe for that, I will have it on the description box along with the ingredients. And it is actually attached to another video I made. So just look for that. But this whipped cream is amazing, especially on the cake. So I'm just making a design here. Do whatever you want. And once I'm done with that, then I'm going to slice it, which I didn't show, but I sliced it. And Oh, I added some pumpkin spice on top of this too. And a little pumpkin spice marshmallow. All this is all pumpkin spice and it was so good. And this is done. I hope you liked my video. This recipe is amazing. And I hope that you try it out. We'll see you next time. 
You all have a nice day. Bye.